Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 2 of the Servercraft series. What is going on? Ah, oh, there's lightning. It's not my fault. We have time, what are you doing? Why, why are things happening? Ow! It killed my It's okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine! That's no, that is not fine. That was CPW doing that. That wasn't my fault. That was not fine. <laughs> CPW's laugh is the best. No, I, I could have more. Whoop. What are you doing? Not so, what are you doing, Wave Time? I think he's making. I'm making living armor right now. Yeah. That looks pretty Here bad to me. There we go. Living wow. armor? It's a new addition in Blood Magic. It's replacing the bound armor. Nice. Ow. You're naked. Now you're and naked, great. Basically, a set of armor that upgrades itself depending on what actions you do. Oh, that's cool. So, if you dig a lot, it'll give you an upgrade that improves your digging speed. Nice. And stuff like speed, etc. Okay. And Tema's got wings on, I see that. <laughs> Hey. No cheating. Never. No cheating at all. No, uh -huh. it's just not feature. Emma. Not cheaty, Tama. Uh -huh. uh huh. Um, so I was gonna look at Tinkers today, I think. Right? You do that. Mm. And luckily, Bonnie's here to help me out and tell me what I need to know. Uh, you need wood. Okay, well, that's cool. I don't Step see. One. Recipes in any eye though for things. Uh, no, they should. I think everything has a recipe. Oh, you're right. They don't have recipes. Yes. Uh, they work normally as usual. They just don't show up in any eye currently. Okay, for so I use like the blank <laughs> patterns and all that good stuff. Yeah, and you know, step one never use a vanilla crafting table. Ah, Tama! Yeah. Whoops. Never. Uh, no, they're bad. I fixed it for you. So oh, yay. All fixed. All better. No, it's because I was at low health. Since... Alright, guys, we're back. Oh, dude, I like this, Bonnie. How you can see the, the crafting recipe on top of the station? Yes. Oh, that's cool. All the tables display everything. Display all nice. the things. That's really cool, actually. I like that. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't know where it I got a carrot from, but I have a carrot now. The message I left you on my crafting tables. What's that? I left oh, you stole it. a crafting table Funny. message at some, at some point. What? Oh, yeah. That. Give me back my full meter. Thank you. There there's, you a, there's a creeper over here stuck in quicksand. Well, let's get rid of it. I think it's funny. Oh, we're not. <laughs> well, at, first, at first I thought it was a creeper had somebody put it on there. <laughs> no, it's actually <laughs> legitimately a creeper stuck in quicksand. That's awesome. Yeah, I noticed when it started moving. So we're going to want a stencil table. We're going to want the part builder. We're going to want a chest. Yep. That storage stuff. And then we're going to want a crafting table as well, I presume. To get the tool station. I'm sure it would help. Cool. Okay, so stencil table works pretty much the same way as before. Um, sharpening craft, kit? That's cool. Didn't you craft a pattern chest? Yeah, I'll put that probably over here, I guess. Oh, but wouldn't it be much better if it could also access it from your stencil table? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> Maybe. But now you can't access it from a part though. So you want me to do it like that? Yes. Okay, you're the boss, boss. So, am I right in thinking that there's no smeltery yet? Yep, work in progress. 
So I should craft things using iron ingots then. Exactly. Okay. But first you need some patterns, as usual. Right, so blank patterns, I'll get the pattern pickaxe. So does the pattern chest grow as I put things in it? Why don't you try it? That's cool, I like that. So then, okay, part builder. But you know what your setup really needs? What's that? You know how you can put a crafting table uh, next to a tool station? And the crafting table uh, could then do tool station stuff? Maybe. Yeah, well, that doesn't work anymore. But you should still put a crafting table next to it. Okay, you're the boss. Done and done. Oh my, look at that. Oh, that's <laughs> neat. Oh, what's that? That's cool. So I can access all these blocks from the crafting station directly. That and even more. That's neat. Now if I put it on this end, is it different? No, it doesn't matter. Okay, cool. It just has to be in connected. Right. That's neat. I like that. But wait, there's more, TM. Oh, I like how the part builder shows on the side. That's pretty slick. That's like super slick, actually. It is. <clears throat> Did I mention that finally you can use shift clicking to do stuff in the tables? Oh, now we're talking. OK, I approve. All right, so I'm going to want a pickaxe. Is iron a good one to go with first? or? Sure. Because I don't really have any other resources other than iron. And I don't have a book that tells me that things are different now. So I'm going to go with like just an iron pickaxe head with, I guess, wood binding and stick. Because why not? So we want a tool rod. And then we're going to want a binding. And we're going to put those in the chest. And then, sweet. That's cool. I definitely approve of that. So now I've got an ecological wooden tool rod, and well, hover, over the, hover over the uh, lines in the uh, tool station as well. Uh, the where it describes each can, one. It, it, so the it part gives you useful information. Too. Do what now? Put it into the part below. I actually have some sugar cane, so I'm going to make some paper, assuming that that's going to be useful for me. Uh, nope. No papers. No papers? Aw, oh, brutal. No papers. All right, so what should I be hovering over now? Uh, put the thingy into the part craft uh, again. Okay. What CPW meant was the display on the right side. Oh, I got which you. has the hover stuff, which shows you information. That's cool. I like that. So if oh. you go if you go over the traits tool display, what they actually do. I like that. Okay. So magnetic means hitting things attracts nearby things. Oh, that's cool. Really? How do they work? Magnets. Let me tell you, man. They're crazy. All right. So now I want to make a pickaxe. So we will make an iron pickaxe head with this and this. And I should have an iron pickaxe. Neat. Cool. Okay. So now what? Now you have a pickaxe to use. And it has three traits. And well, it works as usual. That's cool. I do I do notice but, it like doing that subtle magnetic effect. Yeah, it, it's it's subtle, but it's there. Yeah, like I did it from a distance and it, it didn't get it, but as long as I'm relatively close, it does it does magnet up to me, so that's cool. It's mostly designed to work with all those hammers. Nice. So can I have a hammer but, now? <laughs> <laughs> only if you have a tool forge. Oh, so I do need a tool forge. Yeah, the, uh, you can use everything that exists without a smeltery because there are recipes in place uh, in case the smeltery isn't there. Okay. Cool. So you can craft everything, and everything that usually needs a smeltery or stuff from a smeltery to craft uh, has alternative recipes. Okay, nice. Because we don't have oh. So I need yep. more iron, because I don't have enough iron yet for what I'm going to want to do. Oops, 
I didn't want to do that, but that's okay. I can get it back. All right, guys, we're back. I didn't crash it. Boney crashed it. It already was fixed. It already was fixed. We just didn't update. All right, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make the uh, axe head and the shovel because I want one of those things. I do like how the pattern chest expands as you do things. That's very cool. Or are you making me a sign plate? It has an internal buffer of. It has an internal size, but you should never reach it. The maximum right. size. So what's that? We should probably rename that at some point. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna make a weapon for you. Okay. But I don't want to give you this cactus weapon because cactus is hard to repair if you don't have any, right? Probably. Yeah. Well. So why don't we make a do we make a flint battle of signs so we can actually repair it repair it easier? Die sign twenty. <laughs> that was intended to be die sign. Yeah. <laughs> Just some thinking, I guess. I guess it's it's a bit laggy because it updates. Yeah, because that I uh, see. Because uh, text syncs with the server, it makes it a bit laggy. So what do you say? Nice. You turn this cactus battle sign into a dia sign twenty. That sounds good. Right? I have to. Let's come back in one sec. All right, guys, we're back. I had to AFK for a minute, and apparently somebody put me in a box. <coughs> would that be must, you? Must have been Tema. It must have been Tema. It sounds like the kind of thing Tema would do. Goodness, these are interesting blocks you've got here. DW20 is a butt. That's not nice. That's a horrible thing to say. Oh, wow, is that actually like a full-blown arrow? All in one? That's cool. Uh, second... I have definitely got to, uh... oh wow, look at that. Oh, that is insane. Are you kidding me? That is nuts. What are you looking at? Uh, I'm, I'm playing with this arrow that somebody made in uh, the chisel thing, the chisel and bits thing that Algo made. Yeah. Like you can hold shift and like place it almost anywhere inside the block and then you can mouse wheel to rotate it that's crazy, dude. Really? I yeah. It's pretty fancy. It's extremely I, I, fancy. I made the weird stone netherrack something worm back there by messing around with it. Because it totally didn't do what I wanted it to do. Yeah, whoever said I'm going to need a lot of inventory space for this was 100% correct. Yes. <laughs> that was <laughs> not you, a lie. Uh, you dropped some uh, stuff here. <laughs> I'm, I'm most certain that I've dropped some stuff there. Oh, there is like, is this like Picasso or like some kind of like sculpture going on here? It spells uh, out DW20 is a butt. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it spells out to me? This looks yeah. like a monstrosity. Yeah. Now you're liking the new Tinker stuff. It's cool. So far I just have like one um, little thing, but... One little thing. Yeah, I, I just have a, a pickaxe, an iron pickaxe. So it's nothing terribly fancy, but I do really think it's neat. Look at this, like a sad face, a sad creeper face. That's awesome. Yeah. I just like all the convenience about it with the tabs. That's really nice. The um, yeah. shifting and all that. I like that. It's really, really nice. Yeah, shift clicking is cool. And am I right in understanding that if you want to apply like a large number of upgrades all at once, you can like do that now? Yep. Nice. If you want to just basically just go redstone it all up, and you can easily redstone it all up in one go. That is cool. So no, like, 50,000 times I'm clicking to get, you know... Nope. Just that. one big old thing. That I approve of. You can even apply multiple modifiers at once, as long as there's no... As, as long as the end result is possible. Nice. I think the only thing is just trying to figure, figure out what is usable, because I went and got some moss. It's like, oh, moss ball's gone. <laughs> Right. Yeah. So I'm is there sure a way to place um, this chiseled thing like on the side of a block? Uh, you have to get the rotation thing. Oh, that's it. Um, oh, there's okay. something that ro there's something that rotates it. Is it a wrench? Oh, is that what it is? Is it? Is it a wrench? I guess it doesn't want to go on non full blocks like a chest. Oh yeah, it is a wrench. It wouldn't wrench, so it's just uh, two blocks and two sticks. 
Whoa. Okay. Thanks. That everybody. is fancy. That's pretty fancy. That is super fancy. I'm approving of the yeah. fanciness of this. So I was making a thing. So you wanted to show me what you... So you are making in vanilla Tinkers without any add-ons the ability to replace the cactus battle sign with the flint battle sign. Yes, and I right. wanted to name it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I really need to see that it doesn't reset when sending back. That's pretty cool that I can actually see you typing it out. Yeah, I like yeah, that. Because, because when you type, it, it sets it locally and it sends it actually to the server. Nice. And the server sends it back to you, so everything goes wrong. But I apparently can't name it. Second. Maybe it's because I'm looking at it too. Are you looking at it? I'm going to not look in the UI and see if you're good. Yeah, you go. that worked. Cool. Probably because you had maybe something different in there. I don't know. Here's okay. a dia sign. So is this going to be a better weapon than my stone sword? Uh, pretty sure, yeah. Nice. Whoa. I was just testing something to see if that actually will grapple. If I can actually grapple onto that without it like breaking something. Is this another one of these <laughs> uh, fancy? Yeah, chiseled rock. Cool, chiseled <laughs> bits. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Is there like actually? The wow, that's fancy. I got. These are individual <laughs> blocks. So for every block, there's like. Yeah, there bits. Though. Yeah, yeah, small bits. If I were to yeah, break like, this one, that's the block right there. And then you just yeah. place it right back. I'm gonna try yeah. and put some redstone on my pickaxe because I want to see how that works. So. <laughs> So I noticed there's like multiple sides. Do I, so do I, pickaxe. What's that? That's a vanilla pickaxe. You're correct. I'm noticing that there's like multiple slots, like one for a lapis. Does it matter what I put in there or no? It, look, it doesn't look no, like no, it. No, it's, no, it's just, just because you, I added more slot space and it displays usual stuff to put in there. So. Okay. So mining speed is going to go from 867 to 1123. That seems like a pretty good increase. So I can replace, I can replace the pickaxe head later and have a faster mining speed without losing the haste upgrade I just put on. Mm -hmm. That's right. Nice. I like it. There's also something else because um, you know how like really high level materials that can mine cobalt and so on are quite expensive, right? Correct. Well, why don't we craft us a nice little thing here? If I find it, there it is. Uh, where is it? Somebody's Here. chiseling bit is in the middle of my to be farm. You mean your farm is in the middle of the chisel bit? Well, to be fair, my my watering hole was here before the chiseling bit was here. Ah. Hey, Daya, express delivery. Uh oh. So here's the wrench. Ooh, what's that? Oh, oh, it works. Oh, stone sharpening combined with a flint upgrades your tool to the materials mining level. Well, that's cool. Wait, don't you want to downgrade your iron pickaxe to mine only stone? No. So oh. basically, like once I got, let's say, one, like, cobalt, right? I could use the stone sharpening kit, I could combine that with cobalt and then apply it to my thing and then my pick and mine cobalt, but only the mining level changes, not any of the other stats. That is correct. Nice. Okay, that's cool. And I can do that with diamond as well, I presume? Uh, yes, but diamond is a separate modifier as yeah. usual. You can't make a sharpening kit out of it. Gotcha. You, but you can still... Uh, diamond will raise the two at uh, the harvest level by one. Uh, up to obsidian, so it can mine obsidian, but not higher. Emma okay. rules okay. <laughs> what is okay? What's okay about that? Oh. Nothing is okay about Emma no ruling. Okay. It just says Emma rules okay. Like, if Emma ever ruled anything, it would not be okay. It would be the opposite of okay. Also, Dyer, I uh, fixed your face with uh, this fancy tool right there that's on the ground next to you. Also, that's yours. Yay, tool on the ground, things, wrench. Okay, cool. Right yeah. click blocks to rotate. So you fixed my... So, oh, cool. Oh, you did get it on the... on the. Yeah, wow, it's, it's that's It's a little neat. hard to figure out. <laughs> uh, 
Um, you're doing it on the face itself, just spins it, but then you have to figure out which side, you know, moves it to that one spot side. So it's a little, it's a little tricky. Yeah, that is crazy. I have some individual bits there. So what do I need to be able to mine the nether ores? Discussion. Morby! Hey, Morby. Hi! Hey, Morby! <laughs> Morby. Uh, to mine in the nether, you would need obsidian. Okay, so to mine in the nether? To mine our other than cobalt, yes. you need obsidian. Cool. So you either make the head out of obsidian or you use a sharpening kit made out of obsidian. Okay. What are you doing, Tilo? Just, just, you know, blood things. Oh, just, just tea love things. Tea love things, <laughs> yes, just tea love things. Hashtag just tea love things. So, to give you a short rundown on the current state of Tinkers, okay. uh, the, ba the basic tools like the, the pickaxe, the shovel, and the hatchet, as well as the big brothers, the hammer, the lumber axe, and the excavator work perfectly fine. Okay. The frying pan and uh, battle sign sword and longsword, so that the weapons you can build are work too. The mad dog is completely broken and the sky doesn't have a model. Cool. Otherwise, then that you, you can see all the tools in any uh, yeah. the materials in any eye. Every material has a property. And you need, currently need to find all the stats and everything in the part builder or the tool station if you want to know what a material does. But you can you can like uh, you can put in stone or any any material that can make uh, tools uh, into the part builder and it will display all the stats. You don't even need to build the tool first. Oh, okay, that's cool. What in the world? That's okay. It actually takes stand speed. <laughs> so I break something. It's like you broke something. Here, get a level up. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Nice. Makes you dig faster. That is pretty cool. Oh, so that's in that's in your armor then. Is that what you're saying? Yep. Nice. Oh yeah, right. this pack this pickaxe is definitely faster. Now now all I want to do is get enough iron to make a tool station so I can have a hammer. Why are you swimming? What? Do you have an oil lake in your mining thingy? Because it was there, I was too early game to do anything about it. And I didn't want to destroy the oil because maybe I want to use it later. Nearest portal is probably by my base, which is that way. Um, and we don't have miscraft, so yeah, we're gonna have to do a portal through. Oh my, yeah, it's cute, Dyer. Why don't you want to try this one? Is that your hammer? That is my hammer. Oh, mine. Slimy articulus, cheap magnetic haste with height. Oh, with and height modifiers. Oh, that's. <laughs> I'm having trouble mining this redstone ore with it, though. Uh, yeah, because it doesn't have the harvest level to mine redstone. It only mines iron and stone. Ooh, because fancy. So what does this do? Five by five? Nerdy. Yeah, it looks like five by five to me. Well, not exactly five by five. It's three by five and three by five. Oh, I see. Yes, because it's cutting out the corners. That's neat. I like because this pickaxe. Because we all want to build bigger, uh, bigger stuff. Yeah, and it uh, was one of my goals to get you to um, keep your tools from the beginning on. So, of course, they don't die as always. Right. Yeah. Well, and what I like is that you made it so that, like, almost every, like, let me do this. Like, if we look at this, like, almost every material has some kind of trait to it. Um... Not almost every material. So every material has its own trait. So you can see crude, squeaky, aquadynamic, alien. So ender end pickaxes, Doritos. I guess that's durability for obsidian. Splintering, prickly, unnatural, slimy, another kind of slimy, magnetic, tasty. So every material has its own trait. So you, exactly. your goal is basically you told me to make it so that there's no like definitely this is the best tool to make anymore. Exactly. That's cool. So I'm, I'm curious what you will come up for your usual sword in the end. Right. Because there's different attributes. Like, what's alien do? I want to know. <laughs> See, I'm, actually, I'm actually quite curious of that, too. <laughs> Something tells me uh, possibility of spawning Enderman. 
No, that would be <laughs> silly. Be no, uh, alien is is a very good trait, but it it's very obscure to notice. Let's put it like that. Spoilers. I want to let that uh, leave it to people to find out what it actually does. <laughs> good move. Well, all we need is a piece of endstone, right? And throw it into the tinker's table and you're good to go. Uh, for the thingy, yes. You're living very dangerous, Tyre. I do. <laughs> I, thought I like, we were living I like dangerous. this thing. Here, you can have it back now. Thanks. I feel we're living dangerous with the ecology but, uh, stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Tyre? Let me leave you a present. That's okay, you don't have to here. give me presents. <laughs> I, got, I got something here on my inventory. Because uh -oh. I made one one too much. No, it's a good thing. Okay. I will leave it, I will leave you, just let you decide what you want to do with it in the end. Ooh, a night slime ingot? Where does that come from? Well, slimes. More or less, or not. Oh, okay. Pink slime, stone, and iron. That's neat. And let's go see what its trade is, because I want to know what that's all about. And then I'm going to put some of this lapis on my pickaxe. Is it nighttime? You'll have, you will have to put it into the part to actually be able to read the description of the trade. Wow. It's still daytime. Oh, yeah. Put it in where? Uh, put it in the part builder. OK. The part builder. That's stencil table. Yeah. There we go, part builder. So if I put this in here, it's unnatural. This tool stats. mines faster the higher its mining level is above the required one. Oh, that's cool. So basically, like, if I'm mining stone, it's going to be super fast. But if I'm mining, you know, something simple, it's not. Yeah, Whereas if you're... Like, hard, like, dime, you're like diamond or redstone or something. High harvest level. Sweet. So it's a pretty slow mining speed out the gate because it's only 3.8. Yeah, but it's also... Not man, well, its What's main it? advantage just doesn't lie in the mining speed. Let's put it like that. Gotcha. You will generally find that materials usually have one uh, one strength in their stats, and either the trait boosts that further or the trait uh, supplements the other stats. Right. So luck goes up to 120 now. Am I to think that if I want luck three, it's going to use three modifiers? Um, nope, I think not. OK. Nope. Luck only is one modifier. So is 120 like going to give me fortune three equivalents? Nope, only fortune one. OK. You're going to need a lot of lapis. Right. But if I, if I put more lapis on there, I could get up to fortune three, but it would use up another modifier. Uh, no, it wouldn't use up another. I think luck uses only one modifier. Okay, that's cool. Okay, well, I've only got one modifier left, but I'm sure I can upgrade that somehow at some point. I actually probably not. Oh, no? Yeah, I'm not sure if you're, I'm going to give you the ability to add new modifiers. Gotcha. But you can always exchange the, uh, the materials or if you need something specific. Oh, that's a chiseled rock, I see. So he chiseled bits off there, okay, I guess. I have to figure out chiseling bits. But it's awesome. we'll come it's, back it's, it's in a so minute, awesome. guys. All right, guys, so um, I think that's a good episode that we're gonna have to wrap up here. So I'm playing with the watering can a little bit, just FYI, so you can see how it works. And uh, I muted TeamSpeak for a minute because everybody's having a good time chatting and I didn't want to interrupt them with my recordings. But I also wanted to be able to talk to you guys. So TeamSpeak muted for a minute. But um, long story short, ordering can seems good. It's uh, It still works 3x3. Three three. It looks like its particle effects are a little bit less than they were before. But in terms of the speed at which it increases the growing of plants, it definitely looks to be about the same as it used to be. So the only downside now, which in my opinion is not the end of the world, is that it uses up water, which makes perfect sense. It always struck me as funny that the watering can, like you filled it up once with water and it was like done. And you're like, all right, I have infinite water now, even though I know Minecraft infinite water, but still there's only one bucket worth in there. So you don't get infinite water from one source anyway. Um, but now to fill it up, it's really easy. You just hold right click over um, a pool and you'll notice it filling up 
down there, right? So when you let go, right click, it stops filling, right click again and it fills and you're good to go. Nice. But for now, I think it's wrapping up points. So we will wrap up the episode here, come back next time. I wanna check out more chisel and bits because uh, that looks like a really cool mod. I just need somebody to, I need to play with it a little bit before I show it on camera. So, and maybe ask people stupid questions like how does this work and how does that work? But for the gist of what chisel and bits can do, I think you guys have already seen it. So yeah, very, very cool and interesting looking mod. So can't wait to see more of that. And then I also want to check out Thawmcraft and Blood Magic, of course, because, you know, new things, new toys, fancy gadgets. But for now, Dowel20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll also, of course, be going into the nether and doing all the other normal stuff that you would expect us to do in Minecraft. All right, guys, take it easy.